Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and this is Full Craft 3. We're back. This should be episode 14 and today we're going to move the storage system. We're going to create a new space in the real base over that away somewhere. And we're going to take all of these things and kind of get this set up correctly so that it looks nice instead of being in our temporary, temporary excuse me, area that we have here. So that'll be kind of fun. Now, if you're here, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. That really helps me out. YouTube has a thing where you have to get a thousand subscribers before you can really start to grow it with YouTube. So, you know, if you could just hit that if you're new here, or if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you're liking Fullcraft, please hit that like button. Let me know. Put some comments down in the comment section. Give me some suggestions, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, try to incorporate that into what we do here. I should say I do, but I say we too, because we have the Tinker's Union. We're a bunch of people here on this server who are all trying to do YouTube or trying to do uh, Twitch streaming, that sort of thing, and we've got a lot of ideas. Let's go show some of those ideas. We have a new community area that's starting to show up. Let me go there now. If you recall from the uh, last video, I said we have all these little plots, these little rectangles where people can build basically two chunks worth. It even looks like there's a crafting table already for that one. But we have this appeared overnight. Look at this. This is a library. This was done, I believe, by Candy. Candy's Enchanting Emporium, the community library, enchanted book donations. And you can give donations to your, your books here. And you can get some experience if you need it. And you can enchant things. And there's also, uh, will be another enchanting area over there. Okay. And I think there's a way down here. Is it right here? Yes, there's a way down to another room. This is where we have like a little guy. He's been kind of captured. See what I'm saying? The little villagers. And they've got a bunch of experience. So it's kind of cool. It's a neat idea. And that's what Candy's chosen to do in this community area. Now his base has got some upstairs rooms where he can do some other things. Very nice, Candy. The other place that has been done is Grillo's. Thomas Grillo spent some time. He has a lot of time to spend, though. So he's always on here. He's got the most hours. And he made his own discotheque. Uh, cafe experience here and I think he's still working on it for the different floors I don't see anything inside the windows there so we won't go to the upstairs but he's got this little like boardwalk cafe here type of thing going on it's really cool and you go in here and you have your like a little like a little cafe bar like a um, well not say Starbucks but that kind of a thing and of course you can go up Let's have some more stuff out here. I believe there might even be a packed deck deck. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. Okay. Anyway, uh, the part that I am, like, super psyched about is the part that I added. He's got a thing where you can look down on the bar just down here. But I'll show you what we added. This was kind of fun. It's a, a big, big uh, dining room here. Want, look out into the water. Okay. So what did he add? Well, he, so like I said, it was a discotheque. And he had this floor, it was, was multicolored blocks, it looked really cool, and I thought we could do a little bit better, because uh, it is a discotheque, so I did something else that was really cool. Look at this, I haven't even been down here. Wow! That's some chisel and bits right there, look at that, that pool table looks fantastic. We got one that's got balls that are playing, and we got one with the rack balls, and we got some cues on the wall. What's this, is this a video game? It's a power thing, maybe some sort of like video game type of thing. And look over here. It's another video game. It looks like Space Invaders. Very cool, Thomas. And this window is looking out under the water. Very, very cool. Anyway, what I chose to do and help Thomas out, we made a floor. And one of these lights is not supposed to be on. There. These are lamps. And it, it looks kind of like from the movie Saturday Night Fever. And I actually have them working. So if I flip this little switch, lag happens on the server, but they go at different rates. And so if you get some music going, we can, which we do have a the better records here. I don't know if there's a record here at the moment. Let's see if we have a record. I'm going to play my hustle music. This is the one I always play in my time lapses. See, we got a disco. And that's really, really loud, so. There we go. Take the record out. Did it even not give it to me? I don't know. We'll get it in a second. And I'll turn off the lights there. And it basically stops it at a certain, whatever state it's in. It doesn't like turn them all off, it just stops the uh, cycle. 
And those are, I think keeps disappearing, which means it's probably stuck up here. Let's go grab it. There we go. So yeah, this is really cool. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to show you how we did this in just a second here. Let me put this record away. Right there is a power switch. We're going to go down here. This is kind of the basement area still being constructed. The power line comes straight down here and it goes into these sequencers, okay? And what they do is the sequencers, this is basically, I'm telling you, this whatever this light is to turn on and then turn off. On, off, on, off. It's kind of that kind of a thing. And each of these has a different pattern to them, okay? Now on these, these are controlled by different colors. This is red, there's a yellow, there's a blue, and I used another color green over there for red. And so basically these are what the color blocks kind of look like. So if we flip that switch, this would turn on. Now this goes out and up, and we have all of this redstone conduit. Oh, it looks so, like nasty, nasty, nastiness. And on top of that are mechanical users. The mechanical user are set to pulse. Activate block with item right click upper left slot only. This probably doesn't really matter, but this does. Pulse, activate block with item and right click. All of these in the entire place is set that way. And it's just like this. Mechanical user and a lamp on top. So that way the lamps work. And we have a disco that works. It's just awesome. So much so that I'm going to take a picture of this and put it for the screenshot of, or the thumbnail I should say, of the video. And there we go. All right, let's get back to base. We got some work to do. We're going to work on making a room first, and then we're going to move in. We're going to use meat creeps for this again. We're going to do 13 by 13. So if you think about 13, if you take one away, that's the center point. It's 12 by 12. So to divide that by two is six. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more is the center. So that's what we want to do for this room. Now I'm going to put it right across the way here. So if this is the wall, this is that same wall. So let's get rid of this here. That there, okay, and that's the doorway wall. So we want to go in here, um, seven total. So here's this it doesn't count. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, and then seven is here. Oh, oh we got a little lag there. Okay, so. Again, this is the wall. Just double check our math here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there is where we want to use the meat creep. We're going to right click. Ooh, I'm Mr. Meat Creeps. Flatten an area, 13 by yes, 13. Sorry. And there he goes. Now I wait till he gets off the space, and then I can do shh, move out of the way. Put another one down. Oh, can do. And another yes, one. Sorry. And another yes, one. There sorry. we go. And they go to town clearing it out for me. So we're going to let them clear it out, and we'll be right back in just a second. Just like that, it's all done. And we got lots more cobblestone, like we need cobblestone. We're gonna grab all, gather all this stuff up, and now we have a room here that we can work with. And am I full? I think I think lag is getting us here. We've been having more and more lag on the server, and I don't think it's because of what the mechanical users, because we're not really using them, so they shouldn't be causing any lag. Uh, but I'm not sure what it is. We'll have to do some lag busting. Hey Kent, if you're listening, let's do some lag busting. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take out this wall, and we're going to make this room look very much like this room. I want to just make it look right, and then we'll be able to work on making changes to the room. We'll even do the piping at the top. So let me work on that here for just a second. This should be pretty easy to do, and then we'll be uh, ready to go. I came upstairs in my ship, and there was a chest in here. Lots of iron. Looks like a lot of stacks of iron. Let's see what this says here. A little lag. Was the need for iron the other day instead of me taking time to mine it? I borrowed from your stores. I had intent of returning what I used but forgot. I'm sorry. I felt bad because I did not ask. I don't know who you are, but that's fine. I don't mind. We'll take this iron back. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind sharing. It's not that big a deal. So I have worked on the room. And we're going to go down over there right now and look. And this is what it looks like now. Here's our server room. Or I should say our power room. And over here is the server room. It's basically a blank slate. I can do what I want. I'm going to plan on putting a lot of the, I think, the compacting drawers on one side. And the storage drawers on another side, which we can make our storage drawers look a lot better. 
I'm also going to do the pattern processing systems over here, and we'll have like a core here for the drives and stuff. That's my thought anyway. So uh, I think I might have to get the drives over first because I want to get that functioning properly before we start to move. Okay, here we go. Okay, I took a little time. I recessed these areas here so we can put things in. And I built a bunch of the compacting drawers and a drawer controller and put them in. They're not hooked up to anything yet, and they have no upgrades. We'll eventually do this one here with storage drawers. But right now, I want to get those disk drives in. So what we're going to do here is I want to make sure that I've got this looking correct as far as what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to go down two blocks here. And I want to put in some cabling because I know we're going to be underneath the floor going over to the storage. Uh, so we're going to have it here. Here's one. Here's two. I'm going to do uh, two more so we're up high, okay? Now my intention is that we're going to have on the front here, which is kind of where we come in from the door, we're going to have the disk manipulator. This is the tool that allows you to uh, take items out of a disk and put them into the other system. Or I mean into the other disks that are in your storage system. And we're going to have the crafting grid right here, okay? Now, on the sides of those, I want to have disk drives. Two here and two here. And then eventually, we'll take the two that we have over in our current storage system and put them in the back. Okay, does that make sense? So this will be like the core of storage will be right here. And all the external storage will be on these walls. We'll do processing later. Okay, now for the corners, though, I want to use a factory block. And I'd like to use some fans. And one of these fans is this one here. Kind of like it malfunctions a little bit. So I want to do some of these. And I'm going to put space these out. I don't want to have them all over, but maybe like in one right here. And then I'll have the other ones be regular fans. And that way it looks kind of like it's cooling the system, you know. That sort of thing. Okay, so there we go. I think that's good for this. Now, eventually, like I said, we'll have the other two drawer or uh, disk drives right here, and we'll be good to go. Now, I do have on me two disks that I were kind of like priming the system in a way. I'm gonna put them into this, this side right here. So as we start bringing items over, we have some storage, and then we'll slowly do this. I can bring a disk over, throw it in here. It'll disk manipulate it. It'll be really easy to work with. Okay. Well, let me get going on these. Next is going to be upgrading all of these and then getting some storage drawers in and upgrading all those. And then we got to get set with the actual move. Using a framing table, I was able to make the storage drawers over here look correct for all those other items that are kind of bulky that we don't want in the storage system. And I also took out the controller, put it below, so it should still work for this whole thing. There's the little framing table. So now it's time for the big move. Now, how am I going to do this? Well, I am going to use basically an ender chest and an importer on this side and an exporter on the other side. And the first one I'm going to do is lapis because if you look here, I've got a lot of lapis. This will see what if it works correctly, okay? So I want this right here to be my lapis point. So it should now accept lapis block, lapis, uh, regular nuggets, and then, or the nuggets here, I'm sorry, and then the regular lapis lazuli, okay? So on this side, we're going to basically use an importer. We're going to import into the system, and I need to get some other blocks really quick here. Let me get some cobble. Okay. I wanted to put it right here. This is an ender chest. The colors I have are blue, green, blue. That should lock it in, and we're going to put an importer underneath it. Okay, there we go. And right here, I'm going to make sure that I can go with three speed upgrades and a stack upgrade. Let this thing go as fast as possible. Okay. And this side is done. Now let me go over to the other side and we'll get it all hooked up. Okay. The blue, white, blue chests are the ones, this one right here, are the ones that are bringing into our storage system from the pulverizer, from the mob farm, from everywhere. You can see blue, white, blue, blue, white, blue. We're going to stop all input of in items for now. So I want to break this chest. This way that this storage system should be basically static. It will not be changing for us. It won't have anything messed up. Okay. Now, I'm also going to, uh, let's see here. I got, there's a piping there. That's fine right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off of this with some cable. I didn't bring any cables with me. I should be able just to tie in right with this here. Okay, I want to go out a little bit, okay, and then right here, let's make sure I got it right there. This is where I want this, uh, the blue-green-blue chest, okay? 
Now we're going to, let me break this block again. I, I'm kind of <laughs> concerned that I gotta make sure I get the right things set up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put an exporter. We're gonna export into this system. We'll give it all the speed upgrades and the stack upgrade. Now the exporter here, I want to export a certain type of item. Okay, so yeah, let's go grab a block. There it is. I only want to export this. Now if I did it right, that should be all it takes, okay? Yeah, we should be able to open this up. See, there we go. Everything's being pulled out and being pulled into the other system. If you look here, you can see it's going down really fast. And if we go back over there, let's go over there real quick. It should be uh, pulling into the compacting drawer, not into like a storage drawer or something else. They're all locked. But we should see the blocks going up on this one. And you can see the lapis lazuli block counter is going up. So that's working. So now I'm going to have to do this for pretty much all the items that I want for the compacting drawers. And then we'll work on the drawers for this side. A uh, quick progress update for you. I have all of these compacting drawers are taken out and they're all moved over to the other side. And so are all these and there's one over here. So we're next going to be working on these storage drawers. You can see here, I've got a lot of blaze rods and some things, some big items. I'm going to see if I can compact some of these or whatever and add them to the compacting drawer section first. If not, then I'll put them in a regular drawer over there and we'll slowly get this done. As I'm progressing, I am taking disks out of here, this system right here, and putting them in the disk manipulator, which then pulls them back into the storage. So if I take this one out, it would put it into this section up here with these eight. And eventually I'm going to get these disks as small as I can when I take it over to the other system. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. All the storage drawers are out. Now we're just going to have to finish up getting all the items out of the main system and put into the storage drawers in the other area, and we'll be all moved. So hopefully the next one will show you a completed setup. Isn't that cool? The entire storage system is now moved. All the items are in the other uh, grid and controller that are down in the space. So we got two more pieces we have to do. We first have to set up, well, three actually. Set up the, this is the uh, antenna for the transmitter for the wireless controller that I use. You have to set up the importer. Well, this thing is just pretty easy. It's nothing there. That will import the blue white blue chest, which is the chest that has all the stuff from our uh, furnaces and the drops from below and everything like that. And the critical one is this one right here, which is the trash can. Okay. This is a really neat trash can. We'll get rid of that real quick. We'll take it with us. We have on top of that or out of this is the exporter. And look at, if you look here, it has speed upgrades, stack upgrades, stone sword, and the settings here are no, yes, no, no. Okay, so that's just for me to remember. Okay, so we can get rid of that one. And we can get rid of this. And that. Okay, so we should be good to go with that. Let's go over there to the uh, base and let's put it. Come on, let me fly. There we go. And we should have put it in really quick here. Okay, I made a little space in the floor where we're going to put this stuff. It's going to be kind of below here. So let's get some cable, and now I can go in here and get the stuff because it's all here. Okay, so we're going to put a cable uh, right here, I think. Okay, and we're going to have off of this, when you have the exporter, not to that, that's the wrong place. Hold on, trash can, exporter going into that. And we're going to say it is, where's the sword? Did I not get a sword? Huh. Okay, this has to be linked. I did not link that up yet. It was a stone sword, right? Yes. There it is. A little bit slow there. We have a little bit of lag issues right now. Anyway, you put that in here. And you say, uh, no, yes, no, no. Okay. Speed upgrades. And there we go. There, that should work. So now any drops from the uh, system that have those will be put away. So put that in there. Clear that. Okay, the other thing we had here was the blue, white, blue. Now this one, as soon as I turn this on, it will start accessing it, okay? So we want to have the ender chest. This is the blue, white, blue one right here. There it is. And now we need to have the importer. Here we go. So now items are flowing out of that into here. Now, I'm going to put some more upgrades in here. Obviously, we need more speed and stack. So we need three of these. And there should be a, probably a stack. The 
Yeah, we got that. Okay, so we go in here, oop, right in here. Three speed and stack. Now this thing should be pulling pretty quick out of the chest. There we go. And everything should be working. It should be pulling in. It should be set up. All of our farms are running. Everything's good to go. Now I do need to get uh, the antenna working here. So, and it has to be on a cable. So I'm going to put a cable over here just so I can stick it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now we can clean this up. Doing a final check. Looks like the pulverizers are going to town. We have a lot of space in here. It's being freed up by items. Is anybody taken? Yep, there it goes. So things are being removed, which means they're being in here into the where it's being smelted down. And you can see the drops are going in there. Everything's looking good. Okay, so let's go and take this out over here. We don't need this anymore. Let's just clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Well, let's head on back down. Put this away, and I'll show you everything else that's been done. And then we'll probably call this video done. So over here, I put a third wall in because I was having more and more items that were getting a large amount of storage. So if it gets like over a thousand of an item, I will probably take a look at it and see if I can add it to this so that we can keep it out of here. This makes this system a lot more efficient. So yeah, looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to put another drive there. In fact, let me do that right now. Drive right there. So it looks right. And I put the antenna on top. So hey, this is our new storage area. I'll have to run the crafting grids to other places where we can access it wherever we want. But I always have the wireless crafting grid that I need. And so this is it. This is the new storage center for the base. Looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Well, that's all I have time for today. <laughs> it's been fun. Took a little while to get all the, everything moved, but uh, yeah, we're good to go now. So, um, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. We've crossed over the 900 subscriber line. We're getting very close to the 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Okay, that's about it, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.